Are we on? Okay. Make a motion to return to regular meeting. Second. Supervisor Purdy? Yes. Councilpersons Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. And at this time, let the record reflect that uh, both Councilpersons Blackman and Revelard will be absent for the duration of this meeting. Okay, public comment. I guess there wouldn't be because there's no one here. Uh, supervisor's report. Highway garage. Engineering firm chosen to do the highway garage and salt shed feasibility study is LaBella Chazen. They have started the initial work. CDBG Route 44 sidewalk grant. The only construction bid received to build the rest of the sidewalk to Beekman Park was for $320,000, which is more than the $150,000 CDBG grant amount. The bid will be rejected and the scope of the project will be rebid with less linear fee as phase two. The town will apply for another grant to pay for phase three to complete the sidewalk to Beekman Park. 2023 budget. Budget worksheets have been distributed and are due to be returned to the bookkeeper by Wednesday, September 7th. Rebuilding together Dutchess County. Costs free home repair and safety modifications. Application period this year is June 1st through August 31st, 2022. Applications are available on the table as you come into town hall. Wasaic Trail to the Train Lighting Town Engineer researching low level options. American Rescue Plan funds, water district infrastructure requirements, and land for replacement or additional wells is being researched to investigate the best use of these funds. Town of Amenia, COVID-19. Amenia Town Hall offices are open Monday through Thursday. The building department is also open on Fridays. Masks are requested and are available in an envelope on the second set of doors. Signing the visitor log is required. COVID-19 test kits are available in department offices. The Amenia Library also has COVID-19 test kits for distribution. COVID-19 vaccine information, homebound vaccine appointments can be made by calling 845-486-2555. COVID-19 vaccines and booster shots are available at Amenia Drugs. Call for appointment 845-373-8000. CVS pharmacies go online to schedule an appointment. Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J &J vaccines are available at the JCPenney site at the Poughkeepsie Galleria. Visit www.duchessny.gov slash COVID vaccine for expanded, expanded clinic dates and times and to make an appointment. COVID-19 testing is also available at this site. Town Clerk report. Good evening. Uh, I'm presenting to the board, well, starting off presenting to the public, uh, as I gave the good announcement at our last two meetings that we are in search of our volunteers. Uh, September is right around the corner, September 30th, our board of assessment review, our, another positioning, the term is gonna be coming to uh, an expiration. So not only are we looking to fill the unexpired term on the board of assessment review with a term to expire on September 30th of 2024, but I'm also going to be seeking a full term member whose term will be commencing on October 1 and then expiring on September 30th of 2027. The Board of Assessment Review is a five person board. Uh, they do have uh, a huge impact on this town. They work in the, with the assessor and they review um, our assessments and when there are um, inquiries and challenges and when, we're, when they're going through what they need to go through when, when we as our uh, homeowners are questioning our tax assessments. All of these positions that I advertise for have a true meaning and purpose for this community. Um, so I get to sit here and continue to make these announcements that these positions are open. Uh, please, uh, if, it, if it's something that you're interested in, whether it's the Board of Assessment Review, our alternate zoning board of members, our wastewater members, our town historian, our CAC, these are all committees that are looking for our volunteers and individuals to step up to these positions. Uh, they play a vital part to our community um, and part of the town government, so please, um, if you're interested on any of these committees, submit your resume, your letter of interest, 
address to myself uh, here at Town Hall. You can drop it off in the mailbox 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you miss me, or you can simply email townclerk at aminiany.gov. Um, I have to continuously make these announcements. I have to continuously put notices in the paper. I have to continuously post it until we can fill them. So um, did you guys hear me enough about this open volunteer position? <laughs> I'm texting people right now. How, many, how many spots are open we on the board? We need two board of assessment review people. So um, that's kind of a really important one. There's required training with that that goes along with that and we need to get that information out to uh, real property out in Poughkeepsie. So it's, it's really important that we fill these vacancies, especially on those two committees. Um, did we get the and, uh, application from Nancy Schaefer? I did that? not receive anything from Ms. Schaefer. I know you mentioned at the last meeting, um, but I haven't received anything. As soon as I receive it, the intent is these, these are opening um, advertisements and that's, we did a press release in the Millerton News. It's on channel 22, it's on the door. I don't know if anybody noticed on all the doors with our, our big meeting tonight, it's, it's there, it's yellow. <laughs> it's trying to bring as much tension as I can. Um, but I'm and we're keep also them advertising for two zoning board of appeal alternates, right? Yep, alternate ZBA mm -hmm. is on there. Um, what's unique about this is you guys are hearing me go the last couple um, meetings of, about it, but the year is coming to an end. So then I'm going to be adding planning board, ZBA, recreation, all of our committees as a whole have terms. So then those positions are going to also be added to the list. So um, these are our current open vacancies. Mm -hmm. Uh, I share with the board just a quick announcement uh, to bring you guys up to speed. I did have a great opportunity to speak with the assessor very recently and I've um, been working collaboratively with the building inspector who is looking uh, to make some improvements in the records management system on what they have. Um, and I did ask them to all have a meeting. So I will be um, kind of starting the conversations and facilitating a meeting with the building department as well as the assessor. And I'd like to invite uh, planning and zoning as well as the clerks that are in the offices. And I'd like to extend that invitation to all the board members. The supervisor um, is aware. Uh, so we're gonna have a meeting here. It's gonna be Tuesday, September 30th um, at three o'clock. We'll have it right here in the office. With it being budget season, I think it's a great opportunity for us to all be on the same page, look at what our offices have. We're gonna start talking about some FOIL with the requirements. They have to provide some lists. What time is it, John? Three o'clock. Um, I'm trying to bring us up to the next step to where the grant is. Uh, so I, I welcome any input and I welcome any, um, any board members who are available to attend. That'd be great. So I, on that note, I would love to attend. I'm happy to see if I could help there. Um, Thank you. Back when we started the migration from our own hosted email system to Microsoft 365, there was an additional tier that we could pay for that enabled records management in a government compliant way that was specific to the government type of account that we have for okay. Microsoft. So um, I don't know anything about it. I've never used it before, but it was presented as an option. We didn't need it at the time, so we declined it. But I'll send the link to the page around to both of you guys so that you can see. Um, That'd be great. Maybe we could talk about We it. currently have a system in place. Um, it's just that we have a lot of new faces and I think we want, there's just separate conversations that are being had and I want us to kind of all be on the same page to see where we want to go and how we can all work together as a team making this happen rather than one department making one presentation and then not realizing that we already have the laser fish program that I mean, we spent $8,000 a year to be part of this and all departments are part of it and I'm currently I have staff that is scanning um, but with the new staff and Tom's vision moving forward he's um, he sees where I want to go but in order to achieve that goal of where he wants to be um, it's just going to take some it's going to take some collaboration among the offices on how to get there. Um, I don't think it's very far off. It's definitely something very feasible and it's exciting, but it's going to require man hours and staffing and we all have to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. So I just want to kind of put us all together in one room so we can have that conversation because um, I'm having them individually with the various departments, but not all of us together. Uh, in regards to some actions tonight, the only thing that I have uh, is I would like to present the abstract uh, for this week to authorize the supervisor to pay claims and they are as follows. General Fund A, $117,744.72. Highway Fund, $1,000,000. 
$98,431.95. Amenia Lighting, $14,923.45. Wasik Lighting, $326.07. Amenia Water, $99. Amenia Library, uh, I don't know why she has down there, but nothing. <laughs> so the total for this month's abstract is $231,525.19. Make a motion that we authorize the payment of those claims. Second. Supervisor Prodi? Yes. Councilpersons Doyle? Yes. And Kateris? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I do share an announcement with uh, all of our viewers. Um, here at the Amenia Town Hall on September 20th, it's gonna be a Tuesday evening beginning at 6 p.m. Uh, Dutchess County is coming out and they're gonna be doing a presentation preventing sexual and domestic violence in Dutchess County. And we're gonna have a panel of presenters. Those That panel is gonna include Dutchess County Criminal Justice Council, Victim Subcommittee, and the Family Services Sexual Assault Response Team. Uh, also going to be joined by um, representatives from Family Services, Healthcare, Law Enforcement, District Attorney's Office, Human Trafficking Program, Behavior and Health and Community Safety. Um, this is a program that is open to all of our residents uh, in, in the surrounding area. I, I am going to share this with several of the um, organizations that I'm part of as well. Uh, it is a sensitive nature, um, but please know that this is a safe place if anyone's interested in coming to hear and have conversation um, and dealing with the trauma and the transformations of trauma. Uh, please feel free to come here to the Amenia Town Hall on Tuesday, September 20th, again beginning at 6 p.m. And I do announce on behalf of the Amenia Fire Company, the 200 Club annual tickets are available. So see any one of the members of the Amenia Fire Company and we will be glad to uh, get those tickets for you. <laughs> and um, regarding our reports, I'll go ahead and just go through them real quick for us. In our packets, uh, we acknowledge receipt and circulation of the following reports. We have our July monthly report, uh, indicates the number of gallons, uh, customer calls, water line markouts, emergency response and repairs, and other subcategory of others that was completed by our SEBI Environmental Services. Also in our packets, we're going to find the building department report submitted by Mike Segelhin, uh, showing our total income for the month of July was $8,400. $42.60, also indicating that the zero violations were issued for the month of July. Our highway report submitted by uh, Highway Superintendent Megan Chamberlain indicates that the, they have been busy getting the roads ready for black typing repairs and catch basins and drainage. On August 8th and 8th, 9th, we black topped and shared using our shared service paver. We black topped Flood Drive and sections of Midway Avenue and shimmed Washington Court. All trucking of the material was done by the help of our neighboring towns. Monday, we worked with Lee Tree Services to take down some storm trees on Depot Hill. Yesterday, we mowed and we whacked the Wasay rail trail. We found some loose decking boards on the wood bridge and repaired what was needed. We're scheduled to oil and stone today, August 18th and Friday the 19th with Peckham Road Corp. They moved us to Monday, August 22nd and Tuesday, 23rd, weather permitting. Roads will be sealed are Perry Corners, Depot Hill, Powder House, O'Hanley Drive, Prospect, and Sheffield Road. And that was respectfully submitted by Megan Chamberlain. I do not have a recreation commission report and unaware if there's any other committees. So is that the end of your report? That'll be the end of my report. Okay, are there any other committee reports? No. Okay. <clears throat> so then we're gonna begin with resolution number 59. Resolution authorizing naming of private road for Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response, whereas Dutchess County Emergency Department of Emergency Response has identified a need to create a new road name within Silo Ridge to provide 911 addresses for four condominium buildings 
wrote proposed off Red Tail Pass, whereas the proposed condominium buildings will be constructed on tax parcel number 132000, 7066027569000. And whereas Larry Brody of Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response has confirmed that the developers have agreed to the naming of the private road as Roundabout Way. Whereas Larry Brody of Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response has also checked the 911 database and confirmed that no conflicts exist with the naming of the private road as Roundabout Way. Whereas Dutchess County has approved the name of the road subject to confirmation by the town board. Now, therefore, be it resolved that recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as it fully set forth and adopted herein. The town board of the town of Menia hereby confirms and ratifies the determination of Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response with respect to the naming of the private road servicing tax parcel numbers. 132000706602775969000 is Roundabout Way. Roundabout Way will remain as a private road requiring no maintenance by the Town of Amenia Highway Department. And I make that motion. Second. <coughs> Supervisor Purdy? Yes. Councilperson Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. Resolution number 60. <clears throat> Resolution rejecting bid received to construct the Town of Amenia Route 44 sidewalk extension to Beekman Park, whereas the Town Board of the Town of Amenia by Resolution number 22 of 2021 awarded the contract for engineering services to provide design and formulate construction plans for the Town of Amenia Route 44, a sidewalk extension to Beekman Park to LaBella Associates, FKA, Chase and Engineering, Land Surveying, Landscape Architecture, and Geology, DPC. Whereas pursuant to the town's procurement policy and general municipal law, section 103, LaBella published an invitation to bid contractors for the installation of the concrete sidewalk and curbing. Whereas only one bid was received, duly opened and read aloud at Town Hall on July 13, 2022. And whereas based upon the review of the one proposal received by the Town Board, it has been determined that due to inflation and the rise of diesel fuel cost surcharges, the cost to complete the sidewalk extension of Beekman Park far exceeds the community development block grant awarded to the Town. Whereas by letter dated August 15, 2022, LaBella has recommended that all bids be rejected and the project be rebid at a lesser scale. Whereas the town board of the town of Amenia has determined it is in the best interest of the town to reject the bid received to construct the Route 44 sidewalk extension to Beekman Park as it exceeds the CDBG grant and it was the only bid received. Whereas the town Board of the Town of Amenia has further determined that it is in the best interest of the town to rebid the project at a lesser scale to reduce the cost. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. Recitation set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as it fully set forth and adopted herein, that the Town Board of the Town of Amenia hereby rejects the one bid received to construct the Route 44 sidewalk extension to Beekman Park that the town board of the town of Menia hereby authorizes LaBella to rebid the project at a lesser scale. I make that motion. Second. Supervisor Purdy? Yes. Council Persons Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. Resolution 61. Resolution approving performance bond renewal and restoration of a telecommunications facility owned by SBA 2012 TC Assets LLC. Whereas on or about January 9, 2002, the Town of Amenia Zoning Board of Appeals granted a special use permit and area variant authorizing Nextel of New York Incorporated to construct a telecommunications tower and related facilities on a wooden portion of 
a 10.53 acre parcel of land abutting Route 44 owned by Carlton P. Bates and Miriam R. Bates, bearing tax ID numbers 7067005722. 30. Whereas the approved telecommunications tower and related facilities include a 120 foot monopole with attendants mounted thereon and related equipment and improvements at the base thereof, subject to the conditions and approval set forth therein. Whereas on or about February 7, 2002, the Town of Amenia Planning Board granted the site plan approval authorizing construction of the facility on the property subject to conditions of approval set forth therein. Whereas after construction of the facility in 2011, the successor and interest to Nextel, as the owner of the facility, Tower Company Assets, LLC, apply to the ZBA and Planning Board for renewal of the special use permit and variance and site plan review approvals for the facility. Whereas on or about December 15, 2011, the ZBA and Planning Board approved the renewal applications for the constructed facility subject to several conditions and required the renewal of the special use permit variance and site plan review approvals within 10 years. Whereas on or about November 8, 2021, as required by the 2011 approvals, the success the successor and interest to Tower Company SBA 2012 TC Assets LLC applied to the ZBA and Planning Board for renewal of the 2011 approvals. We are as on or about December 8, 2022, the ZBA and Planning Board approved the renewal applications for the constructed facility subject to several conditions, including the renewal of the performance bond, ensuring the removal of the facility and the restoration of the property. Whereas pursuant to the 2022 approvals, SBA must provide an updated reclamation bond and an amount approved by the town engineer and in a form acceptable to the town's planning board attorney and the town board of Amenia. Whereas SBA has submitted a draft performance bond with an updated estimate for the cost of removal, removal of the telecommunications tower for review and approval by the town board of the town of Amenia, a copy of which is annexed here too. Whereas the town engineer has reviewed the draft performance bond and determined that amount is sufficient to cover the cost of removing the facility and restoring the property to an acceptable condition. Whereas the draft performance bond has been reviewed and approved by the town's planning board attorney. Now therefore be it resolved as follows. The recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as it fully set forth and adopted herein that the town board of the town of Amenia upon review and due consideration hereby approves the form of the performance bond in the amount of $37,000 and such approval shall be conditioned upon final review and approval of all necessary exhibits to the performance bond by the attorney to the town the addition of any necessary information which is currently not inserted therein, making of any minor revisions to the performance bond to effectuate the purpose and intent of the bond in this resolution. Upon the effective date of the bond, number CMS 0345656, the prior bond bound unto the Town of Amenia surety bond number CMS 249160 to cover the costs of removing the facility and restoring the real property to an acceptable condition shall be null and void and will be returned to the principal. That this resolution shall take effect immediately. Make that motion. Second discussion. Yes. Um, page two, top whereas clause uh, is fine, but followed the second whereas after that says that on or about December 8th, 2022. Hmm. Uh, the ZBA and Planning Board approved. What? Obviously, that's not 2022. So, 2021. 2021. 2021. So, I'd make the I'll, I'll. I would suggest we make that change in the second paragraph on this page, the third paragraph on this page as well, and twice in the second paragraph actually.
And just to clarify all that fun stuff, the sum of this all is they're going to take the antenna down, the facility that's there, right? Some, uh, yeah. Yeah, some In construction. Structure. It's, it's, a, it's a bond to, to make sure that, it, one, they'll take it down uh, and restore the property, and if something happens and they can't, the town can do it and if, if necessary. It's just but, providing a, a fund for that to, to occur. And so it's, it's, it's due to renew every 10 years just to reevaluate what the costs are. So this is, this is basically a 10-year renewal of that, of reevaluating the cost. There was an estimate submitted with, with in the paperwork for that, which was reviewed and approved by the town engineer. Got it. Okay. Supervisor Purdy? Yes. Council Persons Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. You want me to do one? Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> 62? Yes. Yeah. Resolution number 62 of 2022, resolution authorizing application for a grant to conduct required lead service line inventory and to conduct the engineering report necessary for the grant. Whereas pursuant to 40 CFR part 141 subpart one, the Environmental Protection Agency published regulations to control lead and copper in drinking water. Whereas on December 22nd, 2020, the EPA finalized the first major update to the lead and copper rule in nearly 30 years, strengthening the regulatory requirements to better protect communities from lead in drinking water. And whereas the revised LCR now requires municipalities to develop a new lead service line inventory, which must be completed by October 16th, 2024. And whereas the town of Amenia is eligible for a funding grant to conduct the lead service line inventory, the LSL grant, and whereas the submission guidance for the LSL grant application contains new requirements, including information on hydro excavation, excavation, waste management, restoration, labor, documentation of the lead service lines, compliance testing, and the relocation of removed soils, which will require an additional engineering report. And whereas the Town of Amenia Water Operator, SEBI Environmental Services, Engineering and Consulting, has submitted a proposal to prepare the additional engineering report required for the LSL grant, which is next tier two. And whereas professional services are exempt from the bidding requirements under General Municipal Law Section 103 in the Town's procurement policy, and whereas the town desires to apply for the LSL grant and to have SEBI prepare the necessary engineering report required for the LSL grant. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. Two, the town board of the town of Menia hereby authorizes SEBI to prepare the engineering report required for the LSL grant in accordance with the annex proposal for a fee not to exceed $7,500. Three, the cost for the engineering report will be paid from source power pump EQ budget line number 83202.06. Four, the town board hereby, hereby authorizes the town supervisor to apply on behalf of the town of Amenia for the lead service line inventory grant. And five, the town board, here, town board hereby authorizes the town supervisor to release any grant funds received in accordance with the grant award. I will make that motion. Second. Supervisor Purdy? Yes. Council Persons Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. Number 63. It'd be under other matters. Transfer of funds for August 2022. Whereas the town board has the authority to transfer funds when necessary unanticipated to amend the budget. Whereas budget amendment, the general fund increasing revenue line 3005.01 state aid, mortgage tax by $9,663, increasing expense line 13554.01.044, assessor C cert by $9,663 for unanticipated legal costs. Whereas budget amendment in the general fund increasing revenue line 2260.01, public safety services other by $121.09 and increasing expense line 30204.01, public safety commercial services by 121.09 for Dutchess County Sheriff Services Con Congregation Beth David payment. Whereas 
Budget Amendment in the General Fund 71104.01, Mania Park CE by $5,802.08 and decreasing expense line 73104.01.098 Youth Programs Little League by $3,500 and decrease 73104.01121 Youth Program Senior League by $2,302.08 for recreation equipment and building items. Whereas budget amendment in the general fund increasing expense line 1989.01 other economic assistance by $997 and increasing expense line 802.04.01.159 planning Hudson River housing by $997 for affordable housing signage. Whereas budget amendment in the water fund increasing expense line 83204.06 out source power pump CE by $5,000 and decreasing expense line 83202.06 source power pump EQ by $5,000 for unanticipated expenses. Now therefore be it resolved the town bar board authorizes a transfer of necessary budget line to process the transactions and I make that motion. Second. Supervisor Prody? Yes. Council Persons Doyle? Yes. Gutierrez? Yes. Award a contract to replace cooling units in bookkeeper and supervisor's office, which are about 20 years old. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the company threw in the towel and said, I can't get the parts for them anymore. And um, they aren't working correctly. Whereas the town board of the town of Amenia is seeking to replace the cooling units in the bookkeeper and supervisor's offices, whereas the current cooling units have reached their end of life and are in need of replacement. Whereas pursuant to the town of Amenia procurement policy, the town board attained, obtained three written quotations for the purchase and installation of two new cooling units. Whereas the town board received the following written quotes proposals. Uh, company AFM Climate Works LLC, $12,990, Fox Air Corp, $13,461.28, Air Serve, $16,307.47, whereas the Town Board of the Town of Amin has reviewed the proposals and determined that AFM Climate Works LLC submitted the lowest responsible bid and recommends that AFM Climate Works LLC be awarded the contract for replacing cooling units in the bookkeeper and supervisor's office in the amount of $12,990. Now therefore be it resolved as follows, the recitation set forth are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. The town board of the town of Amenia hereby awards the contract for replacing the two cooling units in the bookkeeper and supervisor's office to AFM Climate Works LLC. The Town Board of the Town of Amenia hereby authorizes and direct the payment for the two cooling units from the building CE maintenance budget line number 16204.01.062 in accordance with the proposal in next year two. The Town Board of the Town of Amenia hereby authorizes a supervisor to execute a contract for such services after review by the attorney to the town in accordance with the annexed proposal. Is there a motion? Uh, I'll make that motion. Um, I will second that. So they're, they're, you're replacing the a heating and cooling system with just a cooling system? It's it's only cooling. Oh, it says replace equipment on a heating and air conditioning system. Yeah, they the price they gave us is just for cooling. Yeah. All right. It's their old uh, Mitsubishi units. Yeah. The um, Sorry, I'm just uh, comparing. 
the uh, looks like AirServe bid a two-ton unit, which might be why they're more expensive. But Fox oh, they, Air, they all came and looked looked at the ones that were there. Yeah, I'm just for whatever reason AirServe proposed a, like twice the capacity of the other guys. Um, but it looks like both. It looks like the lowest bidder did propose. Uh, Something that would also provide heat. It looks like it's a mini split. So that's great. That's good. Supervisor Purdy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. <laughs> so, <laughs> Council Person Soil. Yes. Gutierrez. Yes. Okay. It's great. <laughs> great. Bonus. Okay, and you'll find. Um, also in your packets, the um, operating statement for July and also the balance sheet for your review. And I'd like to um, <clears throat> make a comment on, there's a special election for Congress on August 23rd. And I just wanted to um, make sure everyone knew who, where the polling places were, because there was, um, uh, some information, incorrect information sent out to some of the voters. Uh, the polling places will be for Armenia District 1 at the Immaculate Conception School, Armenia District 2, Wasaic Firehouse, Armenia District 3, the Community Center at Tally Ho, 155 Scott Drive, Dover Plains. And that's for the special election for Congress on August 23rd. Any other town board comments? I have a few items. Um, we just uh, had a very thorough um, presentation by, by Ty and Bond, the engineers who provided a sewer feasibility study for downtown Amenia. And uh, we have a lot of uh, packets that go over the um, you know, the slides that she provided, and they will be at the town clerk's office if somebody wants to come by and, and pick up a, a very thorough, um, full of pictures and full of uh, really good information. Um, the whole feasibility study itself is a bit overwhelming, but it has got um, everything that you'd want to know about the thoroughness of of their study, which um, focused on three different parcels in the town of Amenia for its um, treatment facility and uh, described the reasons why they included the parcels that they have included. It's going to be, um, you know, they've put a lot of work into it and the wastewater committee has done a great job supporting those efforts to make sure that the survey was completed and that they're reaching out to businesses and residents for more information. Um, I encourage you to go on the Amenia mm -hmm. wastewater uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. which has a link to the feasibility study itself with all of the information that you might want to uh, reference. And it's also on our town website. I found it very difficult to find it on our town website, but very easy on Facebook for some reason. Um, searching for it, I know I should go onto the shared services and find the wastewater stuff there. No, should, it's not on There's the There's a link. It was announced today page. that it was on the, on the website, but I could not find it on our town on website. Anyway, Facebook, you can find Amenia Wastewater's Facebook page and get the link and download it and get the entire thing. It's very helpful. Um, Recreation is working on, a on their budget worksheets. The CAC did not have a meeting this month, but it, their next one will be the third Wednesday in September. I did send around uh, Barbara, Nan sorry, Nancy Schaefer's um, application to join the CAC. Uh, to the town board and to Don Marie, so that should. When did you do that? I just did it, oh, knowing okay. that Don Marie had not. Make sure I didn't it. miss anything here. So it should be attached if you just reach, read down and get the attachment. If you didn't get it, please let me know. Um, I would be available for any um, informational meeting on records management discussion and review. Happy to help. 
Um, there's a meeting tomorrow for the, rep you know, I'm meeting a, a contractor tomorrow for looking at the cost of repairing the brick work at Fountain Square. Um, that'll be at five o'clock and I was happy to see Darlene at the meeting tonight because she... What time will the contractor be there tomorrow? Five. Five, five at, at Fountain Square. Okay. Um, I was happy to see Darlene Reamer at the meeting tonight because she says that there is another company who produces those bricks that have the names engraved. The oh, old company is no longer in business and those bricks were very porous so they did not last very long. So the new company has real pavers. It's probably a little more expensive to get the names engraved. but. Um, we yeah, should, but we just need to get a cost we estimate. We should get that done. Um, housing board sent recommendations to the town board for their consideration. Um, just in a very brief, uh, briefly uh, summarizing it, um, they write, our planning consultant AKRF has analyzed and reviewed current standard practices for um, payment in lieu of, of uh, affordable housing and they are recommending that we uh, change our approach to the current way that we tie the fee to uh, builders who build uh, a certain number of houses they are required to either build affordable housing uh, built uh, on their site or maybe off-site or give a fee to the town and that fee, we hope uh, the uh, Mania Housing Board and AKRF suggests be increased um, to the following revision. For each workforce housing unit that would be required to be built pursuant to section 121-42, the per unit fee, regardless of the unit size, bedroom count, shall be 1.25 times the U.S. Housing and Urban Development HUD Dutchess County area median income for a household of four for the year in which the project is approved. And it says the town board may make this change by resolution and the housing board urges it to do so. So I recommend that at the next town board meeting that we, um, we move forward one way or the other with following up with their recommendations. Okay, could you just... Um, I'll forward it again to you, it was sent. And make sure it goes to Ian, because we can have uh, it ready for the, the first. town board and the town attorney. Okay, uh, we can have it ready it for the first. Okay. It was sent on August 8th, and I will forward it again. Thank you, that's all I have. Two. Any other town board comment? We are not going to have an executive session. Um, we'll postpone it until we have a full board. And if there's any, there's not any other business, I make a motion to adjourn. It's amazing. So I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Yeah. <laughs> Supervisor Prody. Yes. Council Persons Doyle. Yes. Gutierrez. Yes. So if you go on to your website.